Hi guys, how are you doing? I'm just from hanging with these guys. We just from my birthday dinner. I'm celebrating B45. It's a blessing. On Life Abroad today, I get to show you one of my favorite places to pass. It's on this bridge with its changing colors, or at least the bars do have some changing lights. And it's such a beautiful thing to see at night. And if you do come here, I love showing these things because I didn't, I never, I used to imagine a lot what America would be like. I didn't even think it's a normal place, yeah? Especially when I was a kid. But yeah, this is what we have. I know there are many other beautiful places, but I'm just sharing what uh, we have here. I love this, yeah? I hope you do too. So last week I had to do some meal preps. I had stopped doing this for some time. This is one of the things that helps you when you're abroad and busy. You just prepare meals so that the family can have something to eat when you're busy. But I had stopped because the boys began cooking for themselves. I think it was fun while they were learning, but then they got so busy. Yeah? And so I've been feeling like they've not been getting quality meals. Not that frozen meals are my idea of quality, but just knowing that they'll come out of school or wherever else they're coming from and find some meals they can warm up gives me some peace, yeah? So today, as you have seen, I have made a pizza base out of the cauliflower. This is just in an effort to eat better or to incorporate some fun meals in the keto way of eating. But we eat, I, we, I prepare all kinds of meals, yeah? So here, I'll... I have grated the cauliflower and I even broke my grater. I really need to get a, a food processor. Anyway, I've added also a half a cup of mozzarella, grated mozzarella cheese and a quarter cup of Parmesan. And I'm going to add one egg just to bind this. If you love making pizzas and you're looking for alternative ways, healthier ways of making it, this is good. Unless you're allergic to dairy, then you have to look for other options. So I'm going to, uh, I have, I had squeezed this cauliflower after grating it just to squeeze all the juice out. And I'm just adding some seasoning after the egg, some salt and pepper. Then I'm going to mix this and just press it into a pan, a pizza base pan that I covered with foil just for an easier a uh, way to maneuver because this sometimes sticks so make sure you spray your foil when you do use a foil or a uh, parchment paper i forgot to spray with mine with oil so it got a bit sticky on the foil but we made it work yeah so i'm going to mix it like this and then uh form a pizza base mm -hmm. So that is done and I baked uh, the pizza base in the oven for at 400 degrees and now it's out. I'm adding the uh, pizza sauce <laughs> and then the mozzarella cheese and then I added some bits of chicken that I had and of course I added some pepperoni. Ideally, it should just be a pepperoni pizza but I just wanted to add that chicken and then I'm going to bake this again in the oven at 350 for about 15 minutes or until it turns to the desired color okay so this is done it was good and i boiled some uh, beans here and just 
trying to get ready now for for the meal i even boiled eggs to make an egg curry i didn't get to eat i washed sh some mushrooms and this chicken i have fried in the air fryer but it seems i didn't even get the picture for it i here i was just prepping and mise en place and i boiled this meat for pilau so if you're interested in this kind of thing i'm just doing some normal home cooking here and i'm just cooking what i know the guys love for day-to-day -day meals these are mostly kenyan meals yeah so i'm going to start with coconut rice but i'm not going to make it the the way the costarians make it they would laugh at this yeah so this is me just frying this rice i want it to be a bit al dente so what i do is just coat it in the hot oil after washing i'm using basmati oil then um i added just salt so this is uh this coating mix for very uh tender rice but uh i uh, you know the way you want the rice to just not stick together so i'm going to use four uh cups of water to three cups of rice because i don't want it to overcook and then as it boils i moved it over to the next uh uh Part so that it can cook then i added some coconut cream yeah and i'm going to just uh mix it in the rice i added a lot of that coconut cream it is a very good brand from trader joe's so it had a lot of coconut cream yeah or the fat of it so then here i'm going to start uh frying the beans and i'm just doing some nice rojo beans yeah it's just beans in a good tomato base and i started by frying the onions and i added a garlic cube then uh some aromatics that's coriander sticks and uh green peppers then i added the seasonings of the day this would be just uh spanish paprika i think black pepper salt that kind of thing then i added a cup of uh tomatoes i want this to be just beans in a thick tomato base and i will add some stock i had some veggie veggie stock and this was just good to make a nice thick sauce because the rice was already flavorful i didn't need to do anything much and let but let it boil 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 that's the secret to making good beans or gideri you let them you let the sauce boil completely until it reduces so here then i'm going to start the pilau and i love a lot of onions in pilau now the coastal way of making uh pilau is quite different they don't even brown the uh, onion much but i do just because we got used to the, doing this you know so i uh brown the onion added fresh garlic with this you need fresh garlic you don't need anything that you had like pre-prepared and uh you know froze in the fridge no you need some fresh garlic for that uh fresh flavor and also add a bit of root ginger if you have it then i added when the onion browned and after the garlic i added the boiled meat to brown it in these uh onions and then that is when i added the spices the pilau mix and when you do this you want the pilau mix to really cook as the meat browns you don't want to just add the pilau mix and add other things you want to for it to cook a bit then i added potatoes they just do so well in pilau and my son especially the baby loves pilau and he loves it with a bit of potatoes so then i added the stock from the beef that uh the stock i had boiled the beef in and then i added about three cups of basmati rice and then i'm going to just spread it and cook from this point you cook for six minutes your rice will be done the potatoes are already tender and then they get to cook a bit more for six minutes and then this is how it looks when it's done uh, it's a bit browner than the original swahili pilau it's not an insult to them this is just how we do it in the barra we are used to uh, browning it just for for it to be enticing in the eye and just the flavor is really good yeah okay so then that is done i don't know if you like this kind of meal prepping it's um uh, it may take up to three hours but it's it really helps yeah so uh here i'm doing uh beef with 
sort of whole cabbage yeah i quarter my cabbage or rather i i cut it in thirds so i'm cooking the beef here with all the onions and the aromatics and then the garlic cube is a must yeah so then i season it and then i added the mushrooms and some brussels sprouts that i had uh these are only the ones that had remained there were about four brussels sprouts so they were good for this meal so then i'll cook this down and then add tomatoes this is also a tomato based kind of soup and uh, i added a bit of curry powder just to give it a bit of mystery and other spices were basically old bay seasoning spanish paprika uh this uh sort of meal has an adaptation in the south but not quite what we are going for here this is just like a cabbage and beef uh sort of meal and i added the aromatics and covered right after adding the cabbage i just want the cabbages to steam through i want the i want it to be tasty but i don't want to split it because this is sort of what will be served with the beef yeah especially for the keto eaters they don't have to have a starch with this it is just the cabbage and the beef it goes very well together so then i'm making gideri this gideri has been in the freezer for quite some time and today's the day they guys love gideri unlike us when we were growing up we didn't love gideri but then here we go i just fried the onions this is just the typical way we fry our food the onions uh the potatoes and also i added garlic here yeah? that garlic cube then i added the aromatics then the potatoes and then the gideri because it was frozen i needed it to just steam uh with the heat and then i added the uh stock and also water it's, it was like a half and half then i actually added some of the beans i cooked today just to make it more beany <laughs> okay we move on i'm making a, a breakfast dish here it's one of the dishes that the guys like especially when i'm doing these frittatas or sometimes i do quiches uh when it's just for them yeah but mostly frittatas because they don't mind them so i'm making a kale and bacon frittata and i started by frying that bacon to release its oil a bit of onions here and there i added uh some peppers sweet peppers and then some frozen uh kills you can use fresh kills if that's what you have then i'm going to divide this mixture into the individual ramekins and this is one of those times i didn't have much cheese so i grated the mozzarella cheese that i had and then added an egg and cream mixture and then i'll bake this in the oven for about 12 to 15 minutes it always depends on the oven that you use i'm sure you've seen me doing the quiches before so yes it's in one of the recipes from before and uh, this is how it comes out it's one of the breakfast dishes that we like a lot and so that was the end of that uh, mission accomplished and the guys really helped me clean and uh, pack the food so they, they really did a good job uh yeah so i hope you enjoyed this video and come back again and please subscribe if you haven't love you bye bye